Okay, since you don't want to die. Alright, let's see. Alright, my only other guess would be over there. I think that's what I was looking at. No, it was over there, whatever. Chaos Control! Frickin' fell off the damn mountain. Let's try this again. All right, looks like there's a good spot to land. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Now I just gotta find a way to climb up that. Which should be an easier journey than it was last time when it dropped me off the damn mountain. And yeah, there's a, there's apparently a shrine up here. Thank you. Mushroom. There's the peach tree. <clears throat> Ancient bridal. There we go. Nothing. <sighs> and since I'm already up here, let me find a damn shrine that's beeping.
hell the flower go? There it is. You found me! Alright. Now where the hell is this shrine that's beeped? There it is. Moglatana Shrine. Just out in the middle of nowhere. What do I got this time? Synced swing. Alright. Oh. There we go. There we go. I don't remember this shrine at all. Forest Dweller Spear. Don't need that. That didn't work at all. me right off. It's like, no, just get off the stage. You're not really wanted here. Force Dweller's Bow. Nope, nope, no, no, no. What do we got in this time? Gold rupee, that works. That is completely useless, so I'll just burn it all down with the fire arrow.
Whoa. No, don't close back up. Boom. Your source for this. It's skipping this dialogue. I just need one more for another heart container. We can head back here. Alright, let's see, how much money do I have? 2007 or 170. So, drop down to one of these stores. Not you. There we go. Snow Quill headdress, 1000 rupees for some fucking reason. 600 for the tunic and 550 for the trousers <laughs> looks like you've already have the whole retail get up eh that's great and all but what am i supposed to offer you now eh oh eh i heard there's a village somewhere that can dye your clothes and armor different colors eh so you could always buy another Rito outfit and dye it another color, eh? Looking to sell. Alright, let's see. Where's my valuable stones? Opal. All of them. 420 rupees. That works. Topaz. For 360. <laughs> the sapphire and that will be 520 ruby 210 and a diamond for 500 and I got most of my cash back Alright, so since we got this new armor, let's equip it now. I don't know if I can actually get this leveled up right now. Don't know if I have the materials. Alright, let's climb all the way up here. There we are. Actually, I'll re-equip this for now. Ah, a visitor. Welcome to... Oh! Oh! That object on your hip. Could it be? Forgive me, eh? Where are my manners, eh? I am Canal, elder of the Rito village, eh? Now then... Is that not a Sheikah slate dangling from your hip, eh? That's right. Oh my, eh? So it is true, eh? We are Canadian. 
That means you must be a champion like Master Ravali, one of the few able to board Divine Beast Va Meadow, eh? No, what am I thinking, eh? The champions have all been dead for 100 years, eh? This boy must be a mere descendant, an inheritor of the Sheikah Slate, eh? Ah, forgive me, eh? Champion Descendant, eh? If you would listen to this old man's request, you would have my eternal gratitude, eh? I'll listen if you stop saying, eh? No can do, eh? Thank you, eh? Truly, eh? Now that I know you have the blood of a champion, there is something I must ask of you, eh? How shall I put this, eh? I would like you to deal with Divine Beast Va Meadow, eh? The giant beast circling above us, eh? Only a chosen one, a champion, can stop a divine beast, eh? You must enter the beast and bend it to your will, eh? I tried explaining this to the more headstrong Rito warriors, but they would not listen to reason, eh? Teba and Hearth tried to confront Meadow, but it did not go well and Hearth was injured, eh? Teba escaped unscathed, but I fear he now plans to face Meadow alone, eh? As a descendant of the champions, perhaps you can help us, eh? Please, eh? Find Teba, eh? If you work together, you may be able to stop Divine Beast Va Meadow, eh? Hi! <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna climb up here for the moment. And now I will act equip this. Because it is going to get colder up here. If you remember that heart we spotted a while ago, I'm going to try and mark down the location of the shrine where it is for later. Of course, I don't have, like I said, Ravali's gill, so I can't fly up there. Yet. I could do it after this dungeon, but... Nope. Alright. Actually, let me at least quit this. Let's see, climbing up. Gotta take so damn long. No, come on. Ah, there it is. I can just spot it from here. So the side quest states whenever I actually get around to activating it, or if I don't bother, when the sun shines through the heart that's up there and the heart lands directly on that one spot, while well, you have a fire lit on it, then you the shrine will appear. But like... It only appear or does it at four o'clock in the afternoon, so can't do it right now. Forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the elder, eh? That sounds like you intend to help my husband Teba in the fight against Meadow, eh? But to tell the truth, there's not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went, eh? Where do you go? Well, hey, my husband headed to a place called the Flight Range, eh? It's in Drunk's Pass at the base of Hebra Mountains, eh? It's a place where Rito warriors prepare for aerial combat, eh? I imagine he's gone there to gather weapons for another run at Meadow, eh? I have dog fur all over my pantyhose. 
As it happens, he made his way to the flight range on foot this time, eh? If you take off from Rivali's Landing, that's a straight shot down to the flight range, eh? Rivali's Landing is a memorial for the Rito champion, Rivali. So named in hope that none might be might forget the events of that horrible day, eh? Descendant, eh? Descendant, eh? Are you all right, eh? My apologies, eh? I fear I have said far too much, eh? If there's anything you do not understand, please do not hesitate to ask, eh? All right. Together we shall. 